Welcome back to the Artists of Shitty People podcast. Hold on. That's not going to work. South by Southwest. Uh, still. <laughs> yes, South by. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. All right. That's for what is that? Welcome back to the Artists of Shitty People podcast. Brought to you by <laughs> Singers Saving Grace. Uh, uh-huh. This is like my man Fort Knox put me onto this. Mm. I lost my voice before during South by Southwest. I don't know what kind of alchemy is in this bottle, but... It works. It works. Because that just switched up real quick. Yeah. yeah. That um, works. So, yeah. You're going to sing the... I got Artists to. are shitty people. Artists are <laughs> shitty people. Woo. All right. So, this is episode 13. Twelve. You always off. You're always you're gonna yeah. have us a whole <laughs> But you know what? But you like now I have to I'm just gonna put you know, I was gonna be all strategic with yeah. putting them out, releasing it. But I feel like I'm stunting your growth because you can't go back to watch them. And I never even thought about that. Yeah. Like and I was like, oh, I just gotta release these for Prim. Yeah. <laughs> release me, cause I'd be like I'd be like, yeah, what did he say that one time? <laughs> and I needed that, and I just can't remember, so I got to wait till it releases. And All then, right, so. You know. Yeah, so we're going to release a whole season like Netflix. <laughs> That's going to be so much fun. Uh, oh, can't wait. Can't wait. So, um, you're supposed to be getting your, your spreadsheet together with the um, um, streaming companies. Yep. All the playlisting, yeah. and how do we get on playlists, and what's it take, how much it's going to cost, all that good stuff. But we're not going to talk about that, because we went to South by South. Well, yes, we went to South by. Well, technically, we went to Austin. Hey. During South by Southwest. Because everybody who says they go to South by Southwest, nobody's going yeah. to South. Like, the majority of people aren't going to South by Southwest. It's the unofficial events that they really and, go for. Yeah, like, so, and that's it's what, fun. like, it's a disconnect between South by Southwest, the official conference, mm-hmm. and then there's the unofficial, like, a lot of the unofficial events that go on during South by Southwest. So people colloquially colloquially say, I'm going to South by Southwest, yeah. when what they mean is I'm going to Austin during <laughs> South by Southwest. Just like people go to Super Bowl. Yeah. And they don't see you go to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Right. No, so facts. It, it's kind of that type of situation. Um, so, you almost didn't go. Yeah, almost did Wait, what? Remember when you was like, uh, you know, I have exercise. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the fitness camp. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, y'all go, go back and watch that. That was a good episode. Because, yeah, I almost didn't go because I was like, well, I made my commitment over here. You know, and so I didn't want to break that. Mm-hmm. Still, you know, being a good person because I didn't want to break the commitment. But... When I talked to Fred, he was like, girl, you better go get that, because that's what you want to do, you know, music. You want to be around that. You need to be around it. You need to network and meet people. And when I say that was probably the best, that was a great experience, y'all. And I didn't even have to be an artist or perform, let me say that, because I was still an artist. You still wanted to perform. But And I still, to the very last When we told her, when I told her, (laughs) I'm like, you ain't performing. You're not performing. You're coming out here to work. And she got out the day before. The day before. Hey, someone just hit me up about a performance. Like, and he shut that down so fast. He said, like, no, you're not yeah. performing. And I was like, all no. right. Hung my head low a little bit. Then the next <laughs> day we flew out there, got there. And it was just not what I expected. Yeah. I didn't expect anything bad, but it just was like way better than I expected. Yeah. Just even meeting people and the energy that folks brought to the room and then... It was fun. And then me and Michaela really bonded in that, you know, because one of the girls ended up dropping off. The girls that we I've been talking about with y'all, my dancers and friends. Um, but the one who dropped off, it was really kind of perfect that she did because she was under 21 and everything there was 21 and up. Mm-hmm. So it would have been, been a trial trying to get her into anything, really. Right. So the fact that she dropped out herself because she was like, well, am I getting paid? Well, am I doing this? Am I doing that? And then mm-hmm. she ended up dropping out. The morning of, like mm-hmm. four hours before we were supposed to take the flight. And I was just like, girl, I said, I told him my people wouldn't do this. And here you go doing it. But it worked out. Yeah. It was cool. You know, me and Michaela held it down. And we grew closer. We had some conversations I never thought we'd have. So, you know, she just lost her sister. So I yeah. was still appreciative of her for even coming. Because I thought she would be the one to be like, no, yeah. I can't come. I'm grieving, you know. But she was like, no, I'm going. I think it'll be good for me. And it did. It was great. Yeah. And so, but, and you know, that's the interesting thing. That's the thing with 
the I guess a generational thing mm. and youth and um, why so many young people are failing mm. is because they think you come in winning. They think you come in getting paid. They yeah. think you come in like yeah. they're they and that's when I always go back to the social media shit is because that shit's a lie. Mm-hmm. Everything that's placed online is curated. Everything. Yeah. And so it's like when you go to the grocery store, listen, they're the bananas that they're gonna have some spots on. Mm-hmm. Like there's like, Not a perfect. like there's like nothing's gonna be like <laughs> what they showed yeah. in the, the, in the commercial. Right. Yeah, it's like like it, and it's so it's like this kind of this belief. And so just in that just kind of how even with you, mm-hmm. like how many times you, it, you or other artists have like wanted to go to South by, but because I want to go out there and perform. Mm-hmm. If I ain't performing, then I ain't going. Yeah, and you rob yourself of, of what you experience. just experienced. Yeah, yeah. You rob yourself of all the networking, Truth. of connecting with people from different markets, artists, producers, singers, managers, songwriters, doing interviews, like all of mm-hmm. these different things. It was so much fun. <laughs> so so many different things that you rob yourself of. Yeah. Um and and it's and like that's the that's the tragedy of it all. Um that's why I'm like even though I'm like s- such a nerd and super techie, like I don't like technology to an extent in the way that uh, how it uses people, not or how people use how it. we interface with it. Like mm. and and it's difficult being a parent too. Like um because, uh, like, I got ten years on you, so I I I, re- I have memories of certain things. Mm-hmm. Like you, I remember a world without the internet, like the card catalog and all that stuff. When you like, it was like I remember certain things. Mm-hmm. So I appreciate the access that we have to certain things. But then I also we we had to uh, like I know how to actually use a search engine. Yeah. And so it's like the, where a lot of times, like when we talk about artists getting scammed and these type of things, it's because you you guys grow, grew up with this in a pl- in a way where you really didn't have to search for stuff mm. because it had already been thoroughly commercialized by the time you came of age and started really using it. Yeah. The ads were in front of you. Like they, it was a, already an advertising landscape. So when you Google something, ads were already there. Yeah. I was on the internet before ads. Mm-hmm. Like when they were trying to figure, it was just a directory, and you right. clicked, and you have to put in the actual IP address and stuff. So, Sheesh, yeah, so the IP address. Yeah, I'm stuff. old. So, uh. <laughs> when I tell you, young yeah. people. <laughs> so, but having that context, um, my due diligence online is different. Mm. And if you come from an older place, and and depending on how you interface with technology and internet, but when you're used to the information just being put in front of you, um, you everybody's worried about the algorithm. That's the information putting it, being put in front of you. Yeah. And so that's because you're you're lazy users of the internet. Lazy and users. Of couch the potatoes. Internet. Yeah. Like we use we went from couch potatoes to phone potatoes. <laughs> so you're just sitting here. And allowing someone to just feed you information. That's it. Yeah. And so, whereas um, previous generations, it was mass communication. Mm-hmm. So, you had TV shows and you had like cable TV, radio, and mm-hmm. all these things. And now everything's extremely curated. Mm-hmm. So, it's just tailored to just this thing. You that like I anchovy see. vanilla ice cream? I'm They're gonna, gonna show send you, you, yeah. Anchovy like, vanilla ice like, cream. That would all never day make long. it to NBC, <laughs> but like. <laughs> But just for you, we can we can create this niche. Yeah. And so in doing that, like, you get a lot of stuff. So you think that hurts us more than it helps? It it it's tragic. It it hurts um, because like you have all these opposing views. Mm-hmm. Like you want, for instance, you want your privacy, and you don't like people tracking you. Right. Do you want them tracking you? No. no. Right, no. <laughs> but then you also want to run ads and sell your merch and your roses and all your shit. Yes. How do you think you do that effectively through tracking? They so when you start spending <laughs> all this money on ads, 
and you're not seeing. So everybody's selling you how you can Amazon flip merchandise and do all these different things. And everybody's telling you ads, 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 and you can do highly targeted. This is based on before iOS 14, before these updates where they started suppressing like the uh, return on investments on ads is shit now compared to what it was uh, four years ago. And that was shit compared to what it was five years prior because as it, here's the thing, it became more effective. Mm. And like, you guys think it's for you. You're fighting against yourself because Procter & Gamble still has billions of dollars to throw into marketing. Mm. Ford has billions of dollars to throw into marketing. They're still spending hundreds of millions of dollars. So they're going to be effective in a way that you never could. But with you only having $200, yeah. you needed to be able to see what worked and what didn't. Right. Because you're not also running billboards and radio spots and all of these different things. And so this whole privacy thing, you don't want to pay for platforms. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be tracked to ads. And, but at the same time, you want to monetize all this stuff. stuff. You want to be able to post stuff and it be shown to everybody. And then like you also want to be able to run ads and for it to make you money is like all your beliefs that you have in this bucket because you get all these little clips, mm. all these little how tracking is bad. Okay. And how you can make money. All you got to do is run Facebook ads on your music. And then, like, all of these little isolated bits mm. of information that don't work together. And it's like, sometimes you have to put all your cards face up on the table and, and realize this, hey, well, I got 15 spades. <laughs> There's something wrong with this deck. Mm. And so it's like, it's, it's damn near, like, to an extent, the way that... Uh, Newer generations interface with technology is stacked against y'all because these motherfuckers lie to y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like the lies is like. And I mean, a lot of people feed into that too. I mean, mm -hmm. people tell, because I know for from this experience with the 19 year old, she, you know, was told if you're not getting paid X amount of dollars doing something with this person, you shouldn't be doing anything okay. at all. You know, as opposed to build that relationship, you know, see where see what happens from the experience. Go go experience something new for yourself because you've never been you've never done it before. Yeah. You know, so I mean, ads in technology, yes, but people still yeah. putting out the ads in the technology still but false. Those ideas, information. That's the thing. Yeah, here's the thing. This is why technology matters so much mm -hmm. because a failure can pretend to be successful online. And spread the worst fucking information. This is so true. Cause like, motherfuckers is out here losing. Losing. You. Losers. Losing. Broke. But make it look so good. And giving out advice. Like, and you eat on how to look as successful as I am without mm -hmm. being successful. successful at all. <laughs> Jeremiah was talking to me about that today. Like, it's crazy. He's like, do you want to look successful or do you want to be successful? Yeah. And yeah, I don't yeah. look it. Yeah, <laughs> but you are it, right? Like it's like I'm talking like yo, we did the twerk, like the the, the twerk fest. Yeah, and the chick sitting up like, well, where's the money? I'm like, what do you think? I'm just carrying money. I have a <laughs> bank account. What the hell? Like if you don't want to be in it, don't be in it. I don't care. Right. Like <laughs> it's like what? Some folk, but yeah. So, but no, is and that's like, but that's here's the thing is, when you're young. That's all you know. Mm -hmm. Like we're we're very we're visual creatures. I used to joke about this all the time when I was young. Dude could go get a um a old school from the police auction for like fifteen hundred dollars and get it painted for like eight hundred, get some secondhand rims for like eight hundred, and for like thirty five hundred dollars, he the man. Mm -hmm. And Another guy can go get um, a brand new Honda Accord. And who they going to look at first? The man. <laughs> the one with the nice, fancy Rims looking, and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. But here's what these two things demonstrate. The old school with the new paint job and the rims shows how much money someone had. Mm. Had. Had. 
In order Say to get that. finance for a new car, you had to do a down payment. Yeah. But you also had to have credit, proof of income. In order to get that, that shows your income potential and how much money you have and also will have. Yeah. But this is what you had. Yeah. And folks will look at that and be it's like... A, this person might not have gas money next week. Right. <laughs> and so, but like, that's the... The understanding, but because we're very visual and we don't understand the underlying economics of things, we look at what's bright and what's shiny, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, that's great. And it's like, like even speaking to what we do with South by, um, no, no, no logos on our flyer, no major labels, no um, celebrities on our flyer, no headliners, no bait to get people. Just just us. Mm -hmm. And our venue was bigger than a lot of the other venues that was doing all that and lying around the building. Yeah. Packed. Yeah. Two levels. Packed. We had more people on our balcony than some people had in their clubs. Yeah. It was packed. And and this is based off of like the artists that we brought out, those are our headliners. Like mm -hmm. if you paid to perform on our stage, if we brought you out to perform on our stage, and it was like, um, it go back to like the post I reposted from Ray Daniels when he was talking about, like, yo, if I if I come to see Drake, I don't give a fuck who I play for him. Mm -hmm. And that's the that's thing. Right. I believe that. Like, I want people who are here because they're music fans, because they want to come to this event, because yeah. they want to have a good time and want to party. And then we can introduce new music to them and we can introduce artists to them. And you see the difference in that energy when people are singing along with the songs, when people are like dancing to the music mm -hmm. and actually genuinely Enjoying showing love. It. Yeah. It's like you don't have to coax it out of them. It's like, yo, that shit was hard. Yeah. And they're not like the people, the, I feel like a lot of times, like the, the people who are chasing clout instead of a good time. Don't know how to have a good time. Mm. So it's like, that's why I don't, I don't like the club scene here too much in Atlanta, a lot of places, because it's like, just stand around and look at some other people. Like, I'm not into that. <laughs> so like, we went out, dance, have fun. Like, I go to spots where we gonna have fun. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going to spots, like, I don't care who's here. Like, I was yeah. like, just stand and stare at some people and buy a section. It's so that, weird. I mean, it's that's some people's idea of a good time. And you really think about it. Yeah, that's very weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then it ain't even about having a good time. It's about creating content. Mm -hmm. Or For, looking a certain kind of way and making people wonder, who are you? Like the, yeah. Just because why? <laughs> Like, so I can get these pictures for the ground. Show them I was here. <laughs> yeah. And so that's that's the the whole thing. Like when I say this interfacing with technology, it's it's changed the way that we behave. Mm -hmm. Like and interact with people. People don't dance no more. Oh. Because of I believe because of technology. Mm -hmm. I put it like this, and this is where like. <clears throat> dancing is the creative medium of the lay person. Like everything else, you can is like a certain amount of training. Like you gotta be gifted with a voice or to be able to write or to paint or to sculpt, or to be able to express yourself in a creative fashion. And it requires most other things require some kind of tools, an instrument or something. Yeah. Some formal some formal sense of knowledge or understanding. Uh but to dance. You just move. Just moving. Yeah. It takes nothing. It's that's the lower hanging fruit. Yeah. That's so everybody is a creative in that sense. So when you hear something and the music's good and they like it, you nice little to two step, little whatever bit. it is. Yeah. That's like that and that's your dance. you're creatively expressing yourself through motion. Your your emotion is creating motion. Mm. And that's how you're expressing yourself. And this is where I, I sit up and I, I point out, like, how as an artist, it's hard for you to put out music and people judging you and all mm -hmm. of that stuff. And why I, 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 I get on, like, the, the average person, people who aren't creatives, who will talk down on artists and just come up under your comment, oh, that's bullshit. And they're like, that's trash. And yeah. Yeah. And it's like, 
but the average person is a fucking coward. Can't do it. They can't express themselves because they don't fucking dance. Yeah. Because you go to a club and you hear a song that you love and you won't dance. For fear. Someone's going to look at you like, you can't dance. Yeah. Or you look good because you don't know the latest move. Or, you know, you're not a professional dancer. Nope. But so, because you're not a professional dancer, you, you won't, won't even, you won't, you won't even do move. shit. You won't shake, you won't nothing because you fear. You're it. afraid yeah. of not looking cool, of not being good at this thing, mm. of creatively expressing yourself and getting negative feedback from the world. Mm. And the fact that everybody has a fucking video camera. Yeah. And if it's bad enough, they will tape you because that's the fucking society that we've developed. Like, I'm going to let me see if I can get some likes. Let me yeah. see if I can embarrass the fuck out I, this motherfucker. <laughs> man, it's real as fuck. <laughs> and I mean, that's why everybody's so anxious and, you know, to do anything. Yeah. Like, even with creatives, why it's so hard for us to put out music? Because, damn, is, are they going to like this? Or, da, da, da. I low key kind of feel that way about tomorrow's listening I know. party. <laughs> like me and Jeremiah sat there and he was like, I don't think you should show them any music. And I was like, what? Like <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah's an ass. Like, uh, uh, he just made yo, me. Yo, what you're doing tomorrow, I feel like this is probably the worst. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much is what he said to me. And I was like, dude, like it's tomorrow. I put so much preparation, got some people involved. I can't cancel now or just not do anything. And he's saying, well, I think you should just go out there and tell them that you're not ready. And so, you know. No, here's the thing. You can do that. Like, hey, I'm not ready. I'm never going to be ready. But I am what I am. Yeah. And this is what I have right now. And I would love y'all feedback on it. And that's. Good, bad, or indifferent. Like, and see, that's the thing. is It's about the way you present things. Like, notice, like, for the event we do, how I introduce the artist. It's a story. Mm-hmm. And then when I introduce them and officially their name, it's energy. Yeah. It's like I set the tone for what this is going to be. You talked about who they were and what they had, you know, because you know them. You've been, yeah. Yeah, so you could do that for sure. Yeah. It's like set we... Set the tone. We create... The environment. Jeremiah. Gosh. No, it's like, no, but you, but in that, it's like, so here's the thing. If you set the tone like everything's supposed to be perfect, then all you can do is fall short. Yeah. I'm like, yo, this is, like, sometimes you'll be so fucking uptight. It was one artist that had a performance that was like that. I was like, I was like yo, relax. leave me the fuck alone. Right, relax. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, quit, quit bothering me. Just fucking relax. Yeah. And it's like, worried about what time, what am I going to do? Like, you're going to go on when I put you on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were two of them downstairs for me. Kept coming to me asking the time, and I'm like, hold on. Like, it's like, I'm gonna get when it. I call you. Yeah, like, <laughs> but that's the whole thing. Is I don't, and I keep it, I keep it very fluid because I want to make sure that everyone performs for a crowd, for an audience, mm-hmm. in a way that makes sense. And I had to explain, it was like, after, after one artist who was really, I was like, before I'm like, talk to him, like, hey, yeah, it's great, but yeah. yeah, I was like, right. So now I put you on at exactly at this time when you wanted to, mm. then would you have been happy? Right. And it's like not understanding that. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, un- I understand, like, I've done this, like, I've, this is nine years. Mm-hmm. Like, and as I had to explain, like, that person didn't watch the live. So before we did the um, any of the events, like, the week before, I did a live on YouTube and sent out a message for everybody to tune in, and I broke down the event. What it was going to be like. Yeah, mm-hmm. and how we promote, and the fact to explain, like, yo, y'all the headliners. Like, this is y'all shit. Like, yeah. y'all, like, for me, it's different. It's like... You're not paying me to perform. You're sponsoring the event. Mm-hmm. And I had to explain mm-hmm. this to someone. I like that. And and they're artists, but they also promoters. And they were on somebody else's event. And I was like, and I'm explaining, I'm like, hey, it's like, you're sponsoring the event. Why wouldn't you be there the whole day? Right. It's like, if you sponsor this event conference and you got 
your death table set up, your t-shirts out and shit. You're going to set that shit up and then walk away. (laughs) So so like all of this, this whole event, everything, these flyers, these banners, the people that we bring in there are for you to present your brand to. From the brunch down to the interviews to everything. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Over 3,000 people RSVP. A lot of people. A lot of people came through there, in and out, and in and out, and packed, packed, yeah. It was like yeah. just just rotating yeah. people. Like over 2,000 people came through the building. Yeah, it was a lot. And it was like you had DJs there. You had multi-platinum producers, multiple, like just publicists, managers, all these people. They're here for, for you. For you. Talk to everybody. We bring all of these people here for you. And so, like, that's the, the the thing with, like, in the way that we do it is, and it's like going into, I think I've talked about, I don't know if I talked to you about it before, but, like, when it comes to charging people for stuff, like, I charge what needs to be charged to do it the right the right way. Mm-hmm. I think I might need to. Spray some. Yeah, go ahead and take like, a spray <clears throat> break. Spray break. Mm-hmm. Singer saving grace. Oh man. <clears throat> I think I inhale. <laughs> <laughs> so it it's um it, it's having that understanding of it being a, a sponsorship mm-hmm. and I'm not charging you for this time on yeah. stage. Nope. You pay. You're paying because to come do all of this with yeah. all these people and maximize your opportunity. And and that's what every year, like so we do the Media Matter Sound Stage where we put um artists on stage for free mm. um from our members and our subscribers. Mm-hmm. Um but then we'll also do several complimentary stages where people can just do buy ons. And so on the ones where we do the buy ons, like we charge more than other people. Mm. Uh, we charge more than other people who don't do headliners that do like, we're not doing, we ain't doing that open mic shit. We ain't about to have fucking 50 million. Mm. So I think um, the big energy sound stage had the most, yeah. most artists. Um, that was the most artists. Like, But it was a total of, we had a total of like 40X total perform. Really? The whole night? The whole day. Oh, wow. So that was big energy. Media matters. Me, media matters. Meet the DJs. Meet the DJs. And, and um, the one that was upstairs. Was twerk Fest. Yep, Twerk Fest. <laughs> Can't forget right. Twerk Fest. Twerk Fest. <laughs> people on the ceiling. People on the DJ booth. People on everywhere. Spider Woman. Twerk Man. When I saw that video, I was like, she was hanging on to the ceiling twerking, y'all. Yo. That it was turned up up there. It was yeah. packed. Two people was every. I was like, wow. Yeah. It was. Uh, it really got turned. It was a time. It was a time. It was a good time. You had to be there. Yeah. You had to be there. And so, but like that goes into like understanding like, yo, we're going to run ads Mm -hmm. on this. We're going to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. We're going to run ads. Um, We're going to get personal flyers and not just, you know, people do them personal flyers and they don't look good. Yeah. They be just like. Someone slapped a picture on it. It was like, it looks Quality like trash. Is terrible. Yeah. Not even the same. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, we make sure everybody has good looking flyers, good looking visuals. Um, you know, just all the things that are necessary. Like, um, you know, we had a, bought a stage, brought in a stage for our event. Like, you know, it'd be a lot of times like, yo, we come, I, I, I spent $1,500 just flying out early to go look at the venue, mm. to go do a walkthrough, meet with the owners, do all kind of stuff, mm. like in prep of planning for measurements it. and all that stuff, like knowing, okay, we're going to do the banner here, we're going to do this, like all of the logistical things that go into doing something. Like I don't think, um, I, I can't think of anyone who's done anything at that, that a venue like that's one of the things we do. We pick venues, and everybody like starts wanting to do those venues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like, um, but it's just like taking the time out um, to really plan, calculate everything down, make everything it tight, 
Yeah. And it, so, it was definitely well put together. You could tell that y'all have been doing this. You know, yeah. it wasn't a, this is my first time and accidents happen, you know, because yeah. <laughs> it was like, nah, everything's pretty tight ship. And, and you would think that this is like, you got 10 people behind you running the thing, but it's really, from what I see and from what I saw when I came out there, I was like, it's you and Kim really yeah. doing this, like really doing this. And that just amazes me that y'all, even for so long, because a lot of times when people start something, it may not be successful and may not stick around this long, but the yeah. fact that y'all have been doing that for nine years and went out there and practically did everything hands-on. So even when me and Michaela came in, we was like, where's the rest of the workers? You know, like we was looking left and right, and I was like, oh, this is us. Yeah. That's it. Like it don't. Here's the thing. It don't take a lot. It don't take a lot when you have structure, yeah. structure and discipline. That's what that was. And most of the what I see is a lot of people lack structure, mm. and a lot of people lack discipline. Mm. Like I'm out there passing out flyers too. Yeah. I'm out yep. there talking to people yep. too. Yep, he was right there. Yeah. I'm showing people how to like. Oh, I leave from the front. Like, like. I'm like I'm messing with the artists like shells and all of them like I'm like like you got that many I'm gonna pass out all of these before you finish with those right. 15 and I'm out there boom moving like and it's like showing like yo like this is how this stuff works and explaining to them like you worried about whatever time on stage but this is all the time like yo our events tomorrow you need to be out here talking to everybody showing them how to, how you actually talk to people mm -hmm. like. If you're talking to artists, telling them to come see you ain't a selling point. Right. Like, leverage whatever the situation is. Let them is. know, like, come get an interview done. Yeah, Let them like, know, you know, there's something in store for you to come. Exactly. Yeah. And so yeah. even even with the like the way that we structure our events, like even with big energy, like it like wasn't back to back artists performing. Mm -hmm. Artists perform, DJ spin for a little bit, Take play a some break, records, yeah. let it breathe, mm -hmm. let people have that's why I was like packed. Mm -hmm. Like um, and that's the, the whole thing is, um, even when just talking to regular people, it's like, yo, party, RSVP, get in free, but it's not, it's not going to be a situation where you about to hear 8,000 songs that you've never heard. Right. Like, come in. Because nobody wants time. to do that. Nobody. Right? <laughs> nobody. No, you need some familiarity yeah, in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. And so in doing that, um, and I think that's one of the things that makes our situation unique. Mm -hmm. Where we have the the space to do that, where most people don't, mm -hmm. is because this isn't about making money for mm -hmm. us. So the goal is to always make sure we break even. So mm -hmm. when it's about making sure we break even, then we don't have to stuff all these artists on here. We don't have to do all the the extra. Yeah. And so we can focus on putting together an event that's good for everybody where the venue's happy, the performers are happy, the patrons are happy, and just everybody has a good time and 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 leaves like, yo, can't wait till next year. Mm -hmm. Like my inbox is full of and it's like that's how our events are. Um is like people don't really understand like as much as I explain what we do, you don't get it until you're there. Get there, yeah. 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 It's like and it's like that's it's like South by Southwest is like that. But then also what we do as far as our events, it's just a different energy mm -hmm. because like I said, you set the tone. Yeah. And that's the tone that I always look to set is I want to have a good time. Right. You're in it to actually have a good time, not to yeah. just make money. Even down to the website and subscriptions, it's not about making money. It's to make sure that y'all get what y'all need when you subscribe here. Y'all get what y'all want when you come to this party. You get what you, you are first, essentially. You're really yeah. putting people first. And a lot of folks out here are you know, not doing it's, that. It's the funny thing you bring up. Like, one of the, like, artists are hilarious mm. as well as shitty people. <laughs> And so it's like it's so many the 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 ongoing theme of of the week. Every artist that I damn near ran into. Mm. Yo, making it mad. I love what y'all do. So amazing. And da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. It's like I'ma subscribe one day. <laughs> when I get my <laughs> like 
Yo, you know what? <laughs> That's crazy. I ran into this artist who said he was your very first, I guess, protege or something. Ah, his name. No. What was his name? I'm going to regret this because it's going to come back to me later. It was something so simple, Alex or something like that. Mm. Anyway, he um, he was like, oh, you were making the mag? I said, yeah. And I was telling him about the podcast. He was like, yeah. Uh, Kelby took me under his wing when I first started. You know, I, I was with him years, years ago. But uh, don't really mention my name, though, because I was like, why? Did something go wrong? Like with the relationship? Because I was like, I'm going to mention your name. And I really wish I'd have did that <laughs> day because I don't remember but he was telling me how great y'all was, man. Mm-hmm. But I guess something went wrong. He told me not to mention the name. I don't know. Yeah. But it's like, and here's the thing. This is just who I am. Yeah. So it's like, and that's like, <laughs> it, it's like, I feel like that's my purpose. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like, yo, we're, I, my belief is we're the hands of God. Like, we pray for things. We want things. Mm-hmm. We do things. Like, so if you want our situation as black people to be better, if you want our situation as creatives to be better, if you want our situation on financial side of things to be better, then do better. Do better. That's it. So if I see someone that I can help, I'm going to try to help them. Yeah. Like, hey, you know, you might want to try doing this. Like, hey, you probably should do this. Mm -hmm. Like... That probably isn't gonna work. Right. You might want to rethink that. Especially like, since you done been there, done that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like that's all I can do. So it's like, but and it's like in a from a very genuine place. Yeah. It ain't. I'm trying to get over on you. Yeah, it's not yeah. me trying to consult for you. Me trying to get a percentage. Like, and it's so funny. Like, people people forget all the shit that I've done for them mm. because I don't remind them. Like, is that an issue though? Well, not for me. Huh. And it's like, and it probably should be, but yeah. it's like, and it's like, so here's the here's the conundrum. The conundrum. I do shit for people because I do shit, period, because I think it should be done. Mm-hmm. So if I think like, yo, someone should help independent artists level the playing field. So that's why I started doing the the whole thing with the opportunities and stuff because the whole concept was the people with the money, the people with the talent don't always have the money, and the people with the money don't, don't always, always have, have the talent. talent. Mm. So, isn't that right? I it initially started as on the ground mixtapes.com, where it was a level playing field, everybody submitted their song. It was like, first it was free, then it was like, yeah, can't do that shit. Then it was like $10 and $20. And then you submit, and then we would take the top 15 songs. And we press up a mixtape, 5,000 copies, physical, distribute them, have them hosted by someone who had a buzz. We would do them around different events. Like we did uh, Miami Labor Day weekend, BET Awards weekend, BET Hip Hop Awards weekend, like all these different things. Um, But it was always like, yo, if I think an idea is like whether or not necessarily it's beneficial just to me, I'm like, yo, would this be beneficial to the culture? Would this mm-hmm. be a good thing? Would this be something like, yo, I'd be creating shit that I wish was there for me when I was an artist. Like, yo, this would be dope. And then I'll do it. And it's like, like even the whole thing when me started Media Matters, I'm already, I get approved as media every year for South by Southwest. I get a badge. I get to go everywhere and do all these stuff. So when I see like other bloggers that I know and media people that I know, I'm like, yo, you going to the, like, nah, I ain't get approved. I ain't like, damn. Yo, shit popping though. And so that was the seed for me, like, yo, I'm gonna put something together mm, wow. for my people. Yeah. And so I took that like that on to to pay for this venue, to do the flyer, to get all this stuff done, and then allow other media outlets, like, yo, I want you to be a part of this. You get to bring an artist and present them at the event, like all this stuff for other people, because I felt like, yo, this is something. That would be dope to exist, to be yeah. in the world. That would help us. Exactly. Yeah. And so when I when I meet people or if I feel like, yo, you do this, I'll let me introduce you to someone. And I'll introduce you like, yo, yeah, work. Yeah. And I don't, I'm not the guy like if to someone. Like, yeah. yeah like, like remember when I. Yeah. yeah. Or, <laughs> yo, 
I just sent someone your number. They gonna hit you up about that. So you just Break don't me remember. Off, so. I'm never. I'm not that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just like I will. I, I sent them to you because they needed what mm-hmm. you do, and I want to see you be successful. Yeah. And so I don't insert myself into the deal because often that's how the deals get fucked up. Because now you're trying to make a little extra or charge a little extra to compensate me because you still need to make what you made. Or it's just always complicated. Yeah. And so I was like, yo. So when it comes to like a lot of the stuff that we do during like South by all this stuff, uh, that's just me, my character, my personality. So a lot of times like people remember me from shit. Like I don't remember that conversation. Like, I, I like, but anytime I have a conversation with someone, someone I believe in being genuine. Mm. So whatever I tell you in that moment, I'm going to be genuine with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, and that led to some problems this weekend. <laughs> um, really? Three. <laughs> three times. Being honest <laughs> with people? Yeah, so... Um, yeah, folks don't like the truth. We did talk about that in the previous so, episode. Go check that out. <laughs> so, it, it's often because people don't... is Honesty is rare. Mm. So, people tend to remember that. When someone's honest with you, you remember when someone was honest with you. But when you're honest all the time, that shit ain't rare. So, I don't remember... The day I was honest with, you know, I was just honest. Like, that's yeah. just what it is. Like, so it'd be people who remember coming in the review and they remember to the, they'll run down like, yeah, you had said such and such. And then you had on this part and you had pointed out this. And I'm like, bro, I, I don't remember. remember that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but when I said it, I meant it. And so, um, so it'd be like those little things because that moment may have been more memorable for, for the them, other person yeah. than it was. Like, how many people do you run into that own a magazine? Right. Versus how many people I run into who have a song? Mm-hmm. Yep. So. Way, magazine's going to be more memorable. Yeah. <laughs> so so many people got songs. Everybody want to be heard. Yeah. Yeah. So, huh? but, but it was like an ongoing thing. Love what you do. And actually, more than three times. But <laughs> this is the this is the recurring thing that kind of got up under people's skin. What? It's like love everything. I see what you're doing and all that. Doing it big. Like you subscribe. And it's like, nah, I'm gonna subscribe though. As soon as I man, I'm telling you. I'm like, so basically, you an industry nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you just came and said, I fuck with you, right? But I don't <laughs> but fuck, I fuck with, with you, you right? <laughs> So you gave me this long speech about how you fuck with me. But when it comes to actually fucking, fucking with me, me you're not fuck fucking with me. With me. Right. <laughs> you don't fuck with me. Hey. Right. And so it was like, and so when I pointed it out, it was like, and I pointed it out every time because I'm honest. And then, but nah, if you point it out and then your face be like. Yeah, because it's like. And that make people feel some kind of way because they like, damn, you just. Yeah. Don't be honest with me like that. And folks don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. I don't like fake people either. You're right. <laughs> it's like, and it's like, and it's like, and that's not to say that they're fake. They're just not used to real. Yeah. And like, but they're not right. even like, like, and then when I, cause someone try to go back and forth, I'm like, no. I'm like, no, listen to me. You just sat and said, you've been following, you've been doing this, you see all these things that you do, but you, but you drew the line at $20. Actually, like, 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 so you love everything, you up in this event, you loving all this shit. But, and, and like, but that's the thing, is like, but I bet you'll sit up and complain about how these DJs ain't spending your, rec- all the people who ain't doing shit that doesn't benefit them at all. Everything that we do is for your benefit. And you see it and you love it, but you don't fuck with it. And so, like, that's the... And so one person, it was one artist, when, when did all that, it was like, it was like um, I'm trying to tap in, which I'm like, go to the website. Yeah. That's what you type. I'm trying to whisper the... You see that scan? <laughs> <laughs> scan that. Like, that's how you tap in. And it was like, well... And, like, he's like, well, you know, uh, you probably got... 5,000 subscribers and you know, da da da. I'm like, he's explaining to his boy, he was like, use the website. Like, and it's like, okay. 
What does that have to do with you? Right. If it's 5,000 subscribers, what does, that, what does that have to do with you? And it was like, okay, I don't want to be one of 5,000. I get, you know, so I got, it's a math thing. You know, it's like, if it's 5,000 subscribers, I really want to tap in. I don't want to be just one of 5,000. I don't want to be one of a number. And I'm like, well, nigga, it's 8 billion people who ain't subscribed. So right, right. now you're one of 8 billion. Right. So <laughs> I would rather be That's one of really 5,000. Right. Then <laughs> on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. And wow. so That's, That's the, crazy. like, if you want to just be on the math of it, but it's, it's, it's that, like, like I said, artists are shitty people. Like, everyone is looking for a way to, to reap where they did not sow. Yeah, connect, but not connect. Yeah. <laughs> And so it was like every year, like yeah. man, I, I told I probably turned down at least at least eight thousand dollars. Yeah, some folks was trying to ask me, can, can I pay the? I'm everybody, like everybody, everybody. I already knew son. you said no, so I was like, like, I can't, bro. I I'm got a list. To, I no. like, I gotta go by the list. No. If somebody don't show up, hey, I slide you two hundred. Just put me on the stage. Ah, like nigga, no. I ain't out of list. <laughs> I can't do that. Like, like they tried. I'll, like <laughs> they like I'll, I just put it in your pocket. I was like I can't even do that. Like, yeah. <laughs> I can't do that, bro. Nah, everybody. They tried. Everybody. They tried. And I was like, what it take? A motherfucking time machine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you had to go. Yeah, I said like, I said the sign ups are done. You had the best sign up. Like everybody who was on this stage yeah. has been on this stage, especially the media matter. I'm like hell no. Nah. Like yeah. these people been on this list for. At least two months. We didn't did ads, photo shoots, all kind of stuff. Gave opportunities for you to get Everything. on other stages yeah. right up to what? The week of South well, by Southwest. Yeah, we still... flew because we flew Kia Rap Princess in mm-hmm. from uh, Milwaukee. Michigan we flew her in or, um, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. We flew her in Friday, yeah, the day before. She so flying. she was on the USB. We had opportunities up until Monday mm-hmm. to perform for free. Yeah. We had opportunities for three people to perform for free on the Media Matter Sound stage. Well, the showcase that we let one of our media partners curate. And Olivia, that girl Olivia, uh, was selected to curate the showcase. We sent her a list of the people who were eligible. Uh, she selected three people. None of them were in town. Not a single one. They didn't show up at all. Not a single one. And that's the whole, wow. if I ain't performing, I'm not going to be there. Yeah. And so this is an opportunity that we open up for everybody. Mm-hmm. Like, hey. If you're going to be in Austin, there's a chance for you to get a free performance on this showcase. Just submit. And there was like 60 people submitted, 58 to be precise. And she selected three people off the list. And none of them showed up. None of them were in Austin to perform. She couldn't shoot three more? Like uh, She had chose... A couple more, and they weren't there. And it was like, then it was just like, yo, just go down, and see who's. That's and it crazy. Was like, but this was like, so it was just like, because they it. missed those. Like, people was really tapping in with those folks that hit those stages too. Like, as soon as they came off, because it was like, y'all are quality people, obviously. Because yeah. it took a lot for you to even get here. Because you can't just sign up, or you can't just. You had to be a part of a list of a of a, a group of subscribers. Like when we was explaining yeah. that, people was like, oh, so I can't just no, you can't just sign up, yeah. <laughs> like. That's yeah. crazy, and you got the opportunity to show up. Shame on you. Yeah, <laughs> but that see, that's the thing. Like, so we do the sh- the sound stage. We do uh, all last year. We picked up until January, mm. and you had to be a member or a subscriber. Um, the showcase, we opened it up for everybody. So the showcase is just one song. We let three people do one song. We would have let it uh, open it up to five people. Um, if we had like 100 people, at least 100 people submitted, we would have let, made some extra spaces for because I want to get a certain percentage of people on there. Mm-hmm. Um, but that that's the whole thing was to, to give more people opportunity. So for those people who aren't members, aren't subscribed, and you're late to the game because people don't think about South by – until the month before, right. two months before, a last minute ass. And so I was like, all right, there's an opportunity for y'all as long as you're coming in town. And it was like people, and it was open up until Thursday, I think. Mm-hmm. And so even the like the first day, first two days we was there telling people. Hey, come try like, yeah. yeah. Like. That's, yeah. They just didn't understand. No, they understood. They did. They just but this is, and, the, and here's the reason why I say it's like, 
I don't listen to what people say. Oh. I don't listen to what they do. So I'll yell, man, I love everything you do, da 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 Are you subscribed? Okay, that's what you did. Mm. Or what you didn't do. So all of that is you just talking to me because I'm in your face. Yeah. Like, it's like. Making it sound good. You one of them, oh, man, love you, man, man. We got to tap in. We got to yeah, get in the studio. In, and they're in. like, all right. Industry. Industry has niggas. That. Tap in. Yeah, that was like, the biggest thing. Like, no, don't tap in. Yeah. There's nothing that we can do. <laughs> it's like the people, like, the people, like. Wow. And that's why I have good relationships with people. Like, I said, if I'm going to do business with you, I'm going to start by doing business with you. Yeah. Simple as that. You're gonna keep it real and follow up. Yeah. Yeah. So like that's why like when I do an event at a venue, great relationships with the venue owners, with the staff, with everybody. Like I make sure that everybody gets taken care of. They see how we do business. It's like, yo, mm-hmm. now let's have another conversation. Yeah. They want us to do they want us to do something there quarterly. Like, you know, so we putting together some stuff. Yeah, because y'all put a lot of people in that business, let me tell you. Yeah. They needed that. <laughs> So sure they enjoyed that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that's and that's the whole thing is like the people like we're doing this year, we're doing interviews. We're gonna do interviews with all of the artists artists who performed on our stage. So just kind of talk about their experience going to South by from their perspective. Yeah. Because a lot of them it was their first time performing mm-hmm. at South by. Um some of them performed on other stages and just like Really getting a sense of what it is as a from the artist perspective yeah. perspective of performing. Um, hey, I met Abe from the AF. Ah, he yeah. was so cool. Yeah. And Billy the CEO. Yeah. Yo, they were so no, cool. No, Billy CEO. Be- my bad. Not the Billy CEO. CEO <laughs> duh. Like, duh. <laughs> <he's a> duh. <laughs> right. Yeah, they were so cool. Like actually meeting the people that I've been following on Instagram now, they was fly as hell. And Billy yeah. had a turn show, but yeah. Duh. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you see A? No, I didn't see no, his show. Yeah, yeah, I was working. It but... was so weird because normally we do meet the DJs on Friday and Media Matters on Saturday. Mm. So it was weird running them in Both concert. At the same. Mm-hmm. So I was like, because I didn't get to see the performances. Yeah, downstairs. Yeah, so I was like, it was really weird to me. So it was like they did great though. No, no. Here's here's what's weird to me because I'm so used to doing everything, things. and mm-hmm. it's like so it's like like oh man, did anyone perform? <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's because like, I didn't see it. So everybody, it happen, yeah, right? yeah. So everybody's coming to me like, yo, it went great, and this that, and the other. And they telling me, and I was like, all right. And I was in like they showing me the footage and mm-hmm. like the crowd down there right. and everything. And it's just like, and it's just like a whole nother thing going, going on. Going on the stairs, stairs, right. And it's just like, yeah. like, all right. Like, it every, happened. Everybody's it was, happy. Yeah, like, that's, it was and, happy. And that's the goal is making sure that- It was a good time. Everybody's happy. And then after we sat and talked a little bit on the stage so people could get to know them a little more. You know, I don't like, because I hate when people just rush me off stage. All right, yeah. done. Get off. No, nah, let's, let's sit up that's here. Why let's why we talk a little bit. That's a number yeah. of um, And we had plenty of time to do it. So I was like, let's talk. And they, yeah. they love that. Yeah. yeah. Got to connect. So, yeah, it was fun. That was fun. And the meeting of Abe was fun. He was fun. Okay. Yeah. So, now, here's the thing. In, in being someone who's done events before, mm-hmm. how, how, how would you... Hmm, what's the way I want to say this? What are your thoughts on South by Southwest as someone who does events? Mm. So... Okay, so I think it's it's a little different. Mm-hmm. It's just saying South by. I can really speak to how y'all's event went because it was mm. very well structured, mm. and I took a lot of notes from what I did with y'all and saw y'all doing how you did things. And I was like, okay, I need to do this for my next event, and even for my listening party tomorrow. I took some of those notes and I applied it here. So I was like, okay, that's gonna go a lot smoother. But like South by, it it was like. A rally of events, you know, mm. coming in, going out, going to this one, this one, this one, and seeing how different um, things were structured. It was interesting, very hype. It was a lot of people, um, but overall, I can really only speak to the making it mag situation because mm-hmm. it was just that was where I was the majority of the time, right. and I got to see the behind the scenes, not just what they put in front of everybody to see. Right. It was okay. Now you saw 
um, y'all putting up the banner and all right, go out there and pass and talk to everybody. This is how you talk to people. This is how you say things to people. Now, when they come, make sure they have this. And even um, event or Eventbrite organizer, I snatched that up so fast because mm-hmm. I use Eventbrite, but I didn't even know about the organizer. And, you know, <laughs> scanning people in, that makes it a lot easier than, oh, let me see this and the list and email. No, we, we good. Just pull this up. So it was just several things. And then even how y'all manage, maintain the door and the crowd and kept some people down here and let some people up, you know. Just the levels to the thing. So um, for me, it was a learning, a learning, um, a learning opportunity, which I gathered a lot. So I was like, "Shoot, it was well worth it for me to go no. for sure and not perform." Because I realized if I would have been in artist mode, I wouldn't have caught half that stuff because I'd have just been in artist mode. Mm-hmm. But there was times when I even went to it was Soho and mm-hmm. I was able to be an artist because they're like, "Oh, who are you? What are you doing?" I'm like. I miss Primrose, you know? And I got to pull out the card and give them the card. It's like, oh, can we do an interview with you? And I'm like, yes, you can, you know? So, what, me? (laughs) Why, yes, you can. So, that was cool, just Mm. to be able to switch hats every now and again and be like, I'm an artist over here, okay. Come to these events over here. Do the same thing, you know, at the same time. It was fun. It was like, I mean, that was a really great experience just overall so i appreciate y'all for even being like no come and you for being like no you're not performing because <laughs> i was like man i want to perform but not performing was the right thing for me to do especially uh, this first time around. another time with yeah honesty, yeah failed me right, right? so <laughs> another time always like and because you know it is is what it is yeah so um i see somebody and i'm i'm like kind of shooting across the street i accidentally Drop my flyers like one of the packs of flyers mm. they kind of scattered out and then but i had to go catch them real quick so i go and i'm talking to them and i give them the flyers they need all this stuff and then i need to um someone else comes along and i'm going to give them a flyer I'm like man i ain't got that many flyers i was like oh shit! i just dropped out them flyers back over on the corner right on trinity and six mm. So I go back over to the other corner, and it's like, mind you, all these artists are on this corner who, like, several of them have been asking about performing and like, oh, what you got, and all that shit and all that industry shit. Oh, I fuck with you, Mm. but I don't fuck with you, right? And so I go back over there. I'm picking up the flyers. I'm kneeling down, picking up the flyers. And then at the corner of my eye, someone starts Help him pick up the flyers okay. and hand me some. And it's Shaw, Boosie manager. Oh. And he um he got this spot over here. And so he had messaged me previously about putting someone on the show, but I hadn't got to get back with him. Mm-hmm. And it was just a bunch of stuff going on. And I looked up and I'm like, bro, appreciate you. Send your artists over. All these motherfuckers around here want to perform on our goddamn stage. nobody want to help. And it, you, <laughs> a nigga who don't need me, stop right. to help me. Right. Damn. And it was like, send me your guy. I got him. Mm. And it was like, and then I think he introduced me to him in that moment, like, real quick. And it was just, like, kind of running around. Um, and I don't really remember after that. Um... But his artist is supposed to be performing. I told him to send me the music. And it was a miscommunication between him and the artist or the artist team or whoever. But he's putting them on. Mm-hmm. And I was like, and so here's, a, here's my number one problem with artists. When they deal with me with the energy from somebody else. And I was like, mm. motherfuckers, because I know it's motherfuckers that ain't running their shows right. I know that. It's motherfuckers that you probably went, they told you this time, you didn't go up, you didn't get to perform, like shit wasn't what it, it wasn't a crowd in there. It's like, I, I know, I know you didn't deal with the bullshit. Yeah. And I understand that. And that's why I try to be honest. Like, I'm just be like, like, what time am I performing? You're not. Mm-hmm. Just like, nigga, you ain't on this list. Yeah. Like, or listen, you're gonna perform when I call you. That's it. Listen, like, and it's like, I'm not going to give you a time because anytime I give you right now, it's going to be a lie. Like, I know that. Yeah. So I'm not even going to pretend with you. So in this, the, um, the, their team comes over and they're downstairs with y'all and, and you telling them, no, you're not performing. 
Like, yeah, y'all telling them. Yeah. You telling them exactly what? Because the, they're not performing. Oh, okay. Because they're I'm not like, on the list. Yeah, we didn't know. This is something I told Shaw. Yeah. Like, and like, I haven't gotten the email. I haven't received anything. And so then when um when I finally I see a text from Shaw, and I was like, he's like, they there or no? It was a text from uh, whoever was running point for him. Mm. And I was like, all right, I got you. And so like, but I had to run to go download some files for the next show. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, in that little um, mix, I end up going downstairs, and I was like, yo, I'm about to be out front. And so I run into him, uh, Peasy, homie who's running point, and there was a couple other people in the office was there. And I'm like, um, yeah, I got you. Like, I was going to have them perform on the Meet the DJs, but we can put them on Twerk Fest. It ain't no big thing. Mm -hmm. um, you got, um, I was, like, I asked y'all if you had, like, a twerk record. Like, it ain't necessarily got to be a twerk record, a club record. But, yeah. Some shit that motherfuckers can Pop. dance mm -hmm. to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, it was to, like, I didn't get an email for it. And so, then it was a whole thing where I'm talking to Buddy, and the artist is right there. And I'm like, all right, email it to me. And then we'll put you on on the event. And um and it was like and the artist look at me and like, yeah, like, am I really gonna perform? Are you gonna really like are you just saying like and I'm like think I'm lying? Yeah. You call me a liar? <laughs> like like and it was like and then from that, all right, so I never drink mm -hmm. when I do events. Water only. Mm -hmm. My brother happened to come into town, yeah. <laughs> and he was there. Yeah. And so what? He, so he ends up bringing me a drink, probably an hour before this. And I was like, he, and it comes up. I don't even know what the hell it was, but it was a double of whatever it was. And I'm like, I'm like I need a water. And he's mm -hmm. like, I'm like, it's my brother. I ain't seen him in a minute. I'm like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so. so <laughs> I probably would have been more aware when I did this. <laughs> Cause I kind of got a little loud. Ooh. Cause I'm like, but I'm still, <laughs> I, I'm still in the right. Like, nigga, I just said you performing and you calling me a liar. Mm. Like, that's how I took it. Uh, like, cause I'm like, you sitting up, I just said, you gonna and you're me. asking me as well if I'm like, lying. You're sure. You're at, <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. No, it was like, it's, it's insinuating that I'm just saying some shit. Oh. And I'm like, nigga. I, I had plenty of time to just say shit all day. I told every, you know how many motherfuckers I told no. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> like, like people who have more accolades and more things going on than this artist. Yeah. Dope artist, got cool situation, but I'm talking like multi-platinum, established people, label reps. Mm -hmm. Like, no. No. Still getting no. No. Like, no. Nah. Next year, hmm. like, holler at me after this, like, no. So, and I'm and I'm just and this is, bro. I'm doing this on the strength. This yeah. is you didn't pay, you ain't a sponsor, you ain't. This is because Shaw did the right thing. Shaw, because I fucked right. with Shaw. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. and I'm like, and so like in that moment, I'm like, what? He that didn't sit well with him, and he was like, I ain't calling you. Know, I'm like, bro, I said this, and you asked me. If that was true, <laughs> confirm my confirmation. <laughs> like, like, like so, and then it was like a little back and forth. But then I just realized, like, I'm loud. Yeah, and it's like let me let me not be so loud. And at so, the same time, you know, so, so yeah, so, artist so, perspective. Like, no, I understand. Yeah. like when you get so, ran so around. I'm, I'm, so I'm so I'm being mindful. I'm like, yo, let me just talk to Peasy. Mm. Get this shit straightened out. He's like, yo, calm down, and everything's cool. So then I go back. And then I get I call Shaw just to let him know, hey, what's going on? That I got everything. Um, but it was, I don't know. It was just like too many different people. Because mm -hmm. it was like a last minute situation. Yeah. It was too many people. And everybody, and everybody dealing with me like I'm one of these fuck niggas who out here, I'm like, yo. Who lying and, da, 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 and it was like, like it ain't even like you took money for it. So yo, that and that's the whole thing. Like, that's why I came when I come in. And I'm like, yo, I'm gonna let you say everything you need to say. 
And then, like, after they said everything, like, because I went back and met with them because management was there at that point when I got back to the venue. I was like, I'm going to come find you because it was like, yo, I want to come see you where you at. And I was like, all right, I'm going to come. And I'm and listen, I understand this. And I and I, I can empathize and understand because I understand. Yeah. But this ain't that. Yeah. So I don't give a fuck. Even with all that empathy, <laughs> I don't that. give a fuck because this ain't that. <laughs> yeah. So it was like, so it was like all that. I'm like, all right, so let me explain this. Everybody else paid me. Mm-hmm. Y'all didn't. Right. And I'm about to make sure and y'all I'm perform still putting you up because there. it's my word. Yeah. Like that's it. That's the only reason because I gave someone my word. My word is my word. If I say that I'm going to do something. Word is bond, y'all. I'd like. It, I, I I don't feel comfortable mm-hmm. with myself if I say that I'm going to do something and I don't make every attempt to do it. Hell, I'll take a loss to make, make sure, sure that I do done. something. Yeah. And so that was like, it was like, like when I had to put it in perspective, like, yeah, I didn't pay me. <laughs> this is just like, and then it was like, oh, then we're seeing now all the miscommunication mm-hmm. is coming out. It, and- yeah, it's like, oh, okay, I see. This is mm-hmm. what happened. Because management was there when Shaw picked up the flyers. Mm-hmm. And it was like, yo, that was just... I'm like, yes. And it was like, so everything's cool now. <laughs> and so then he goes. He's like the first act to perform on Twerk Fest. Shit's lit. Mm-hmm. Shit's fucking lit. <laughs> like, and it was like, all right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Like, my bad, <laughs> We good. I put you through all that. My bad, like, bro. Yeah, we my good. Bad. My bad. Like, right. <laughs> and so, like, but that's the thing. It's like, it's so much fuckery that goes on. Mm-hmm. It's like, I got to, you know, I can understand why people act a certain way. Yeah. But that don't mean I got to fucking tolerate right. it. Right. Don't. Like, yeah, it's motherfucking <laughs> scam. So you defensive. And like, but what the fuck that got to do with me? Right. Like, I'm not about to do it. Like, and so, like, that's the whole thing where, like, um, the same, a same situation. It was a, um, a artist who's performing for free. Uh, so one of the things we did with our media partners, with our, our uh, Go Media partners, that we got that guaranteed media station set up. And then we said each of them were going to allow them to present an act and the act was only supposed to do one song. Mm-hmm. And so one of those media partners, the act, um, it was a miscommunication. So miscommunication. Shit happens. Mm-hmm. And so so the so here's the thing. This is why they're, they're performing. They have one song. People talking to me. And I'm going to get the other media partner and let them know, hey, your artist is up next. And you need to you need to come over here so we can introduce you on stage. And as I'm walking over that way, I hear that artist start to do a second song, record scratch. I'm like, hold on, <laughs> like let me hold on. Why is he doing two songs? So I walk over to stage. I'm like, and so I don't have the DJ cut his music. I just go to it. They're like, hey, bro, you're only supposed to do one song. Right. And so. And he's performing, and I was like, hey, I'm just letting you know. Just make sure you heard me. You're only supposed to do one song. Do with that information what, what you, you will. <laughs> and then I back up. And now at this point, he just puts the mic down, and he, like, ready to go. He, he upset. And I'm like, calm down. And so then the media partner who was presenting him, who presented him, Comes over and like, dude's clearly upset. Mm. And so he's all upset. And I'm like, yo, calm down, bro. But he wrong. Like, no, like, and here's the thing. So the um he's supposed to do one song. Mm-hmm. But in um the media partner who presented him didn't didn't get an email stipulating one song specifically, and he thought he was supposed to do. He thought he could do two songs. 
And the artist who's seen all these other acts do three songs decides to send the DJ three songs. So I'm like, yo, you just, it stepped up every, <laughs> at every level. So I'm like, so we talking, I'm trying to figure out like, yo, what's going on? And so they, he airdropped the DJ, the records or whatever. And so I'm talking to uh, the media partner and I'm like, he said he thought he was supposed to do two songs. He thought he could do two songs. And I'm like, well, you know what? I did not send you an email, the email that said specifically one song. Okay. So in that, I'll eat that. That's mm -hmm. on me. So miscommunication number one. Okay. And so how I got from two to three, it was like, all right. <laughs> so, but he wasn't on his third song. He was on the second song. Yeah. So, but the whole time the artist is upset and trying to over talk me, argue with me. I'm like, all right. So I'm just like, I'm letting him say everything he's saying. So he can get his feelings out. Mm -hmm. Because I understand how important it is to get to your release. feelings out and be heard. Management is over to the right. Management's chiming in. I'm like, hey, I'm letting you. All right, now you're done. Let me explain. This is what it is. Now, I miscommunicated. I didn't send the email that he needed to get to know that. So that's on me. I'll take that. And it's like, and then he just keeps jumping in, and I'm like, and I'm like, bro, I love you. I'm trying to make sure that you leave happy. Yeah. And it's like, he ain't trying to hear none of that. And I'm like, so at this point, then the management is like, he better than all these people in here. At that point, phew, lights out. Like, you ain't got to bring nobody else into the situation right. to make your point. And that lot, you lost me right there because yeah. if you were one of my artists who were performing on this stage, I ain't gonna let nobody else say that about you. Yeah. So you gotta stand on you and what we got going on and whatever this is. So now you done lost me all the way. And so for the fact that, yo, know, I miscommunicated and I interrupted you in your second song, I would have let him do the second all song. three of them. Oh. Because I have the time. Like, mm -hmm. we don't stack our shit. I yeah. have time yeah. to allow you to do this. But you're killing the time mm -hmm. with the arguing. arguing and being, and now, and now I don't even get to get to that resolution yeah. to, to let you be in a place where you get to do to your, win. To win. Can't I'm even always win. like, listen, I'm going to make sure everybody wins. Mm. That's how, like, like, all of this shit, like why I set I set things up the way I set things up, and so I have flexibility to do that shit. The other media partner, this shit, their artist wasn't even there. I don't know what the hell, like he wasn't even there when we called him. So it was like definitely had the time, but yeah. now you didn't burn the time, and so it, it's like just <laughs> and, and but here's the thing, the artist was an artist that I saw. The day before, uh, okay. on the street, I love everything you do. I fuck with you. Da, 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 da. Are you subscribed though? Nope. I fuck with you, but I don't fuck, fuck with, with you. you. And so it's like the way the energy that you bring to situations, like motherfuckers be moving with their antennas up, and like it's like yo, you walking down the street with your guards up. If I'm walking towards you like this, I'm ready to come like this. Like, right? yo, I'm walking across the street, nigga. Right. I'm trying to deal with you. Like, you're doing too much. Yeah. Right. It's like, so yeah, you have your guards up to protect yourself, but what kind of signals, yeah, what kind of off. image are you presenting? Like, to where, like, I don't know what this nigga on. I'm good. Yeah, I don't even want, I'm good. And that's the thing. And that's like the sad thing. Like, cause dude's talented. Dude's actually talented. Mm. And so, like it's so many, it's so many people for me that is like, you know, it just is what it is. Like, yo, you talented as fuck. But I ain't fucking with it. Yeah, personality and energy not, yeah. not there. And it's like <laughs> and that's what the subscription is about. <laughs> it is like, it is for twenty dollars, I get to see your character. I get a million dollars worth of intel for twenty dollars. Wow. But you're not subscribed, so how would we know? It's like you ask for like people. You'll be in my face talking to me, 
Ask me, when can I get a show? Man, we got to partner up. I got to do, I love what you're doing. Bro, how can we? And I'm like. You ain't on the list. Never. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that, like that, that genuinely lets me know everything. Like, that's like me saying I want to see you be successful as an artist. And then you drop a project and I don't buy it. So you don't want to see me be successful as an artist. You don't even want to check it out for tr- any kind of money. Yeah, no. There's like, there's like, I used to, like, when we used to do the um, random, like, music reviews on Instagram Live, and somebody had a people with them, so they're on their phone live, and then so they have to play it on a different phone. Mm-hmm. And it was like, ah, oh, damn, they ain't even got your music saved. <laughs> No, that'd be the realization, though. That'd be the real, because that has happened to me a couple times. Like, (laughs) bruh, you with me, but you're not with me for real? Like, what's going on? And yo, but but here's the thing it's like, a person can be with you, but not with your music. Yeah. And like, understanding that everybody who's your friend ain't gonna be your supporter. And every person who supports you ain't Ain't supposed to be your your friend. friend. It works both ways. Yeah. Like, just because someone bought a motherfucking CD with you don't mean you got to have lunch with them. No, yeah, no. So, all right. <laughs> so, your friends can be your friends without supporting you. That don't make sense, though. But it, Are you it, really my friend if you don't yes, support yes. me? Yes, yes. Listen, we did how many episodes before you subscribed? Three. And you had, you saw, soaked up all the good game. It was <laughs> Listen, three. No, I had to get paid. No, 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 no. It wasn't even that. But would you feel like, do you feel like like our, our relationship was le- like, it was like, now nah, I believe in this guy. Or it was just like, yo, when the time was right and it made sense for you, you did it. Yeah. And I mean, so, it made sense. Yeah. But I had to understand what making it mag was still. Right. But here's the thing. So even with your music, yeah, like just because you make good music, it may not be. That may not be the record for that person that sells them. Yeah. It doesn't make them feel the way it makes you feel. Mm. Mm. And so so it's okay for you to do it. But it's not okay for them to do it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. so, and so like <laughs> I, we gotta dispel no. this idea that just because there there are no compulsory fans. Like a person doesn't have to be a supporter or a fan just because I'm related to you or you we went to school together. Like that's that's bullshit. That ain't I real. Mean... It would be nice, but it ain't real. Because think about all the people that you that you are friends with, have been friends with, have a relationship with, that and have started some bullshit these. ass businesses oh. and shit that you like I have no need for that. Yeah. I mean, I have no need for that. And you shouldn't <laughs> have to. And no one has need for music. Here we go again with this. No one has yeah. need for music. When have you ever been like, ah, shit, we out of music. Got to go to the store. <laughs> like, they're, they're like, but it's accessible. <laughs> exactly. And I be needing it for different moods, you know? So I kind of do need music. Me, no. I need it. Just All right. It, you need the idea of music. Mm. You can put on lo-fi beats on YouTube. You can put on... It's like... You need noise, rhythmic noise, and melodies. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I, I kind of see what you're saying. When is yeah. the last time that you needed a specific song? When I was sad. What was the song? Uh, if the World Was Ending. If the World Was Ending. Yeah. And if you went to that and they had removed it from Spotify, would you have canceled your Spotify subscription and then just went to the store, found a place to download it from, or would you have picked another song? I'd have picked another song. That's the point that I'm making. Because I have a couple more. But, yeah. <laughs> right. So and so like that's and so that's the, the okay, idea. I mean, yeah, I mean that people aren't people shouldn't be compelled for their personal relationships mm. to have business relationships, be your supporters. Uh, they should you your friends should want to see you do well, but they shouldn't have to be the instruments of that success. Yeah. Like, and that's a conversation though, because you know there's those posts that go around if your your friends don't support you and you know are they really your friends and the um, 
you'll get big and rich and whatever off of people that are not actually connected or related to you like everybody else will but the people that you're close to won't and that those kind of posts make you look at people and be like yeah y'all really yeah, don't support me yeah, cuz those is really. cuz those like that's technology yeah dumb motherfuckers <laughs> with access to reach the masses now let me break down those stupid ass posts right yeah, there yeah cuz what was the first one <laughs> um if your friends don't, don't support, support you, you are, are they, they really, really your friends, friends? If you have to question whether you're friends with someone based on their support, are you really their, their friend? friend. Mm. If my my view of our friendship is based on whether or not you, you support me, I'm a fuck boy. <laughs> you know, you never really view it like that. Yeah. You if you're go, not letting yeah. me in the club for free, you're not my friend. Like, mm. all right. Mm. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah, no, that's horrible. Yeah. That's horrible. What was the next one? Um, <laughs> uh, you won't get rich off your 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 family and your friends, but people who are complete strangers are the ones that are, you know help you. All right, you. let's do math. <laughs> let's go back to that five thousand right. versus the eight, 8 million. million. Right. <laughs> true. Damn, that's true. Right. Damn, still ain't going. Even if all of them did support you, you still yeah. wouldn't. So but they're not obligated. These to. are these are posts written by short sighted motherfuckers. Yeah. Th- these are these are posts. Written by people who have no life experience, and it's like, like what I it's funny is like, youth is having in youth we have very deep conversations about shallow subjects, mm-hmm. topics like the topics and the things that we discuss were meaningless, but the depth of the conversation, oh, we would dig in yeah. like like this shit don't even matter we like. Don't. <laughs> And it never did. And like, that's but crazy. that's the thing is, these are things uh, like the 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 language of the internet is passive aggression. Mm. Like you want to go viral, mm. make you a little sound Say that's that. passive aggressive. Make you a little song. That's all you got to do is make something that's passive aggressive that allows someone to say some aggressive shit that they don't that they want to say, but they can't, can't say it say. themselves. So now they can just do a little TikTok or a reel with your sound saying exactly what they've been wanting to say to all these, oh, you know how motherfuckers always, it's a celebrity and now they like, oh, I was listening to them first, but well, this is your chance because I'm about to blow up bitches. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> like, what well, artist ain't going to use that? That's real. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, but that was that was always for me. What music was with the art, with music as creators and songwriters, was to say the things that people want to say, mm-hmm. but don't have the words to say. So it's like, I remember. Uh, I can't remember. Don't it hurt so bad that it hurts so bad? What fucking song was that? Um, but it was that line that I sung. I was like, as a kid growing, you know how you used to sing songs as a kid, you never thought about it. And then when I had when my first real breakup, and I and that song came on, <laughs> and the words, I was like, Yo, like it yeah. hurts so, so bad, bad. <laughs> that it hurts so bad. Oh my god! You really like, feel yeah, the words? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it was like it made like I never thought about. What they were saying, saying until, until I like, experienced, experienced what they were saying. And then I'm like, yo, these words mean so fucking what? much. <laughs> that happened to me so many times. And so like that's that's the thing as an artist, as a creative, is you're labeling emotions mm. that people haven't dealt with often. Or they ha- they haven't they don't have the words to describe how they feel. Mm. So the music says it for them. Yeah, and it, and it, and it's like that song, and that's why like mm. certain songs resonate in a certain way. It's like when um, it is. I, I remember <laughs> uh, Ashanti, like it was like the, what was it, um, baby, 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 and it was like. Baby. Every hood chick. Yeah. I remember we had the mixtape series at the time, and yeah. um, it was like when it was a new song, it was like, You got that lighter to my cigarette song? Because that <laughs> line. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yo, some good like, times. I know you smoke Newport shorts. Right? <laughs> like, it was like, but the way. 
like knowing like yo like that this thing like that correlation mm-hmm. and that like the way that she phrased that yeah. resonated with, with a whole people demographic that, mm-hmm, of people mm-hmm. in a way that fuck everything else yeah. that line right there made it the best is what because I got that, that yeah. that's what I yeah that was me yeah <laughs> And so, like, that's the whole thing is creating creating this content that speaks for people. And that's I think that's what makes songs catchy and viral. And we share them. Same thing with the sounds on TikTok and these trends. is It allows me. That's why people do all these dance challenges mm-hmm. and all that shit. Because I'm afraid to dance by myself. Yeah. And just express myself and wave my arms for fear of being mocked right. or ridiculed. But if I do what you made up. Oh, it's a challenge. So I get to yeah. do it. Yeah. A little cookie cutter. So I do this and this <laughs> and then uh, uh, right. uh like, <laughs> So so now I get to dance, be a creative. Right. Man. I ain't never even thought about it like that. Because, yeah, those people that are fearful of dancing out in public, they'll do Be- this, though. Because that's the thing. The, mm. Because the creative thing is creating it. Yeah. Not doing it. Doing it's the, just fun. Doing it is fun. Yeah. And so, like, but to try to come up with a dance routine, like, when I hit you, when I was uh, one of our uh, subscribers did a challenge for one of his songs, have people come up with dances, it was like, and it didn't do so well. And I'm breaking it down the numbers. Like, you spent this amount of money, like, because you're giving away this prize. You did this, you did this. And how many people, I'm showing them, this is how many people engaged with it. This is how many videos you did and how many views. And look at how much you spent. And I was like, yo, you could have spent that on ads and gotten way more views or gotten way more engagement and added people on your list and all this stuff. And it was like, here's the thing. You don't even dance. Like you're not a dancer, like, and I'm like I'm just, I'm like you dance, and he's like, nah. I'm like, all right. So how you gonna expect other people right. to do something to, you, don't you don't do, do, and then you don't give them, and you make it free where you think that you're opening it up for everybody by like come up with your own dance, do whatever you want to do, but in the absence of instructions, like now no one, it's no one too knows. much pressure because yeah. now I have to create versus you have made a dance, a little simple, then, yeah. do this, this, this. Uh, whatever. Right, right. Like, and it's like, oh, I can do that. And man, and I put a little pizzazz on it right. and I do this. Mm-hmm. Like, but I have That's something. The challenges, yeah. And so, like, a blank piece of paper is like the scariest thing for a creative. Like, it's easy. No direction. Yeah. Where do you go? <laughs> so, wow. but no, like, that's that's the whole thing. Like, that all of this stuff, like, just kind of wrapping everything up from South by Southwest to where we ended at mm-hmm. is. Creatives and their emotions. Yeah. And it's like a lot of people are um, fearful of going to South by Southwest. I don't like not South by Southwest. But like, yeah. uh, we got beef with South by Southwest right. now. Like, like <laughs> it ain't even the real one. The unofficial. <laughs> the, so going to Austin. Right. During going to South Austin. by Southwest. Um, it's um it's a great opportunity to network. That's why I've always promoted for people to go. Um, I used to heavily promote for people to go to the actual conference. If it was feasible in their budget, I'm less inclined to do that today. Mm -hmm. I'm less inclined to support the official South by Southwest and make that a recommendation. Mm -hmm. Um, But being in Austin, I, I highly recommend anyone who can be there because it's an opportunity for you to connect with people who are on the same or close to the same level of seriousness or at least more serious than the people who are in your hometown right. who aren't going to go. Who won't invest in and so, yeah. um and, and outside of the investment, it's, it's this other thing, the, the discomfort of going out, doing something new, going to a different place new, having to talk to new people. And it was like, that's part of yeah. going out there. That was Michaela's fear, too. She was afraid to talk to people at first. But then when we got out there, just let loose and just realize how easy it was and mm. how fun it was to flyers. just connect. Yeah. That's why I get flyers yep. out. It was like, it was yo, so this is easy. It's yeah. an icebreaker. Yeah. Like, it gives what you is something this? to do. Let me tell you about it. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. It made it easy for her. And then she was just talking to everybody. I was like, cool. <laughs> yeah. And so it's like, even online, it's like, oh, uh, seeing it like a lot of posts, P- 
people talking about how it's a waste of money and this and it's like for a person who doesn't know how to leverage it. Right. And any any fucking thing is a waste of money if you don't know how to use it. Mm. And it's like and I and I've watched this. This is one of those things. Once again, stupid ideas plus the internet <laughs> equals problems. Right. Right. <laughs> More problems. This is a bad idea. That's a bad. World star sucks. Email blast sucks. DJ suck. Like I, everything. Like everything no. sucks. Yeah, just because you didn't know how to use it, right? Or you had bad music. Mm. Let's let's not even go down there. Yeah. But it's like the way I would describe it. Everything is a tool. South by Southwest, official. Unofficial. Unofficial. Yeah. Paying to perform. Um, posters, flyers, USB drives. All of that stuff. T-shirts, all of it. Everything is a tool. Mm -hmm. Every tool has its place in the toolbox. But every tool doesn't have a place in the job that you're doing. Mm. So if you pull out some pliers to hang a shelf, that's your fault. That's not what that's for. Right. You can't... The problem is people try to... Screw a nail. Try to one size fits all everything. And hammer a screw. Yeah. Like it's, you have the wrong tool for the wrong, wrong job. job. Yeah. And you get mad at the, you get mad at the, the screwdriver because you're trying to nail something with it and it's not effective at that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, it's not the screwdriver, it's the user. Mm -hmm. It's the user. And so people go out there without understanding what it is. That's why I encourage people to go out there not performing and get a lay of the land. Mm -hmm. Move around, network, do it. Like, because if you can't move around and network, then you shouldn't go out there and perform. Because then you're just paying to fucking perform and you're not going to benefit at all from it yeah. because you don't know how to move around. So if you go out there not performing and you don't, benefit from it, then you definitely ain't going to benefit when from you go out there and perform. Yeah. You're just going to spend even more, more money. money. <laughs> yeah. So it's like <clears throat> a lot of people who haven't been out there before and don't know how to utilize it, like, um, you know, and not all events aren't built the same. There are some events that I feel like, yo, um, they're harder to leverage than others. Because the event itself doesn't make the most sense. Um, but different people value different things. Some people yeah. value being able to say, hey, I performed where such and such was. Or, you know, that's cool. Or, yo, we did this thing. And it's like, but it wasn't a lot of people there. Yeah. Or it wasn't um, a great look for you because you didn't have the crowd response. Right. It was like, so, but... If that's what makes you happy, and ultimately that's what success is, like if it makes you happy and that's what you want it, then you know, that's what it is. But for me, like I wanna see my people um, see um, quantifiable progress. Yeah. So when people perform on our stage and, and like get booked on other shows, and um, like several of them just hit college radio. Tuesday morning, um, like playlist ads, interviews, things that you can point to because of this show, because I went here, these things happened. Yeah. And um, like that's what the goal is. So it's like, like no different than what we did when we did your budget in and mm -hmm. putting together a plan. Like I'm spending this amount of money. Okay, if I'm going to spend this amount of money, what – things would I like to see come from that yeah. and be realistic and honest about that. And uh, when you do that, it leads to, to much more beneficial results and much more success from going out there. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, this, yeah. this, this concludes our <laughs> post South by Southwest wrap up. Did you have any notes, anything? Oh yeah. Yo, did you get one of these USB drafts? It was given. They was given out to the no. DJs and the media and stuff. There you go. Ah, it's a lovely USB drive. It's a but making it Mac. People who have USB. a Mac, it got the USB C. Look, all the DJs was doing that too. Like we we understand. Wow. Yeah. 
So we gave those out to DJs and so cool. medias, like got the music. Oh yeah, this preloaded. had everybody's stuff on it. Yeah. Right, right. I remember seeing the email. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, thank you. South by was great. Yeah. Hope to see you next year. You going next year? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I plan on uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> I already making my plans. See, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Mm. Supposed to plan now. Yeah. Like people. Because there was so much other stuff that happened that we found out about later. I was like, what, what, what? Had yeah. I known? And then we saw a TikTok that said literally plan for South By because you're going to see so many things happening. Get the schedule, you know, try to find out. Da, 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 da. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that next year for sure. Because yeah. it was overwhelming, but it was very a great experience. So it was like, yeah. Yeah. Well, my thing was I'll buy, and I used to do that, is make a plan. And I was like, fuck that. <laughs> it's like, Just like every year, I'm going to be where, wherever I'm at, that's where yeah, I'm supposed to be. <laughs> like, because I used to, I'm going to do the MHA, and it's like, and then I get one place, and yeah. I stay a little too long, or someone goes up and form, and I stay, and like, and then the whole everything Thrown is. Thrown off. And it's like, yeah. it is what yeah. it is. It is what it is. I just, wherever, I, wherever I'm at, I must be having a good time. That's why I'm here. Yeah. And that's all that matters. Yeah, that's it. So. So, yeah. This has been episode 13. 12, 13, 14. One of them in there. It's in there. You really think this is episode 12? I Because we skipped the one... With the podcast, I said that was 11, and then Let me see, you, you was like, yeah, this was 11. Uh-huh. And you then, know, I could pull it up and drive, because I upload them for uh, Rail to edit. Oh. So I'm going to pull up and see what the last one is. So, I'm pretty sure it's 12. Mm-hmm. Because we had that whole debate about it being and, 11. You know, I could be wrong. I'm like- And then, yeah, but this is 12. I, I, I don't would think I 13. am. Let's see. 13. What? Yeah, episode 12. We All take righty then. March 10th, How the week before. Wrong. All right. <laughs> so, this is episode 13 of Artists Are Shitty People. Are you going to have your homework next week? I'm going to have my homework next All right. week. <laughs> and we're going to get back on, back on track. South by Southwest. There was a lot going on these past lot. weeks. So we missed the episode. Um, yeah. And uh, but. But we're back. We're back. Yeah. Oh, then it was your birthday. Yeah. Was like, well, I mean, Cancun. Before that. No, before that, when it was like, oh, you know, you know, some, <laughs> you know, got to, you know, flown out, st- you know, stamps on the passport. Gotta have to you know. go for a little bit, but I'll be back again, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, we about to here. It's Kelby Cannon, publisher of Making a Magazine, founder of the membership, joined by Miss Primrose, your resident artist. And we're out. <laughs>